हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर्टिसंस वे सो टुडेज वीडियो टॉपिक इज हाउ टू ऐड गूगल ऑथ लॉग इन इन वेबसाइट विथ पी एच पी सो एज यूजल दिस इज द ब्लॉग वी हैव रिटर्न ऑन दिस सेम टॉपिक एंड यू विल गेट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो यूजिंग गूगल लॉग इन यूअर यूजर कैन रजिस्टर डिरेक्टली टू योर वेबसाइट विदाउट फिलिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म so for that you first need to create your project so these are the steps you can follow to create your google project and get your credential so i have created my project already and under the credential tab i can get my client id and client secret yeah these are the details and if you need more details about creating project then you can follow this official documentation by google which explains how to create project and get your credential so for now our tutorial purpose we are using hybrid auth library it's an open source social sign on php library so using this library you can add social login functionality on your website they are provide some popular providers like google facebook linkedin github all this stuff but for our tutorial we focus only on google so this is the official documentation of google login by hybrid auth here also you can get the steps of creating project so let's install this library so at first you need to create composer.json file in your project root directory so i create it and copy this code so we are passing version 2.10.0 because at the time of creating this video the latest release version is 2.10 so we are using the same one here you can see so next step is run the command composer install so let's open command prompt and run the command so how library get installed uh, next thing we need to do is we need to do some configuration in that library so first we copy two file from this directory so let's do it vendor hybrid dot hybrid dot again hybrid dot and copy config and index.php file make sure to rename this index.php file to hybrid dot hybrid auth.php because you may have another index.php file in your root directory and that file should not be overwrite so i just rename it in your case you should take care before pasting that library in root directory now next thing is open config.php and add our google credential here so let me add my credential do not use my google credentials in your project because after creating this video i am going to delete those credentials and google project so those keys will no longer valid
so i will reset or delete it after this video so i copy client id and paste it here and it's my client secret apart from we can pass base url so for base url i pass staging server address because uh, this configuration i am showing you on local server but after completing all these code changes i will upload to staging server because we need to run this code on staging server as you can see we have set this redirect url as suggested by hybrid auth library so i just paste it So this is the server URL where we will upload our file. Now next thing is add scope, accept type and some configuration for Google login. It's optional actually but we will add it. About this parameter you will read about hybrid or documentation as well now in our hybrid dot hybrid or dot php we need to place this code so open that file and just replace this code with our one that's it now we are good to go to implement google auth login so let's create two file login.php and logout.php. So in login.php we will add this code. Yeah. So what it does is it first uh, include config.php file and then to authenticate method we are passing google so what this method does is yeah, here you can read so it first checks whether user is authenticated with google or not and if it is not it will redirect to the google sign in page and once user is authorized your application it will redirect back to this page and then we will able to get user profile and you can print here your this variable to check what values google will return uh, it's normally your first name last name google id your profile id your email address like this stuff and in logout.php we just unset our session so you need to handle this session values in your application we just show you how uh, you can get these values and set in session it can be vary depending on your project so how you will handle session it's up to you yeah so we all good to go i have uploaded those file on server so i directly run it so I am running login.php and it gets me to Google sign in page. Now I can log in with my account. It will again redirect to login.php file. And yeah, here are the Google profile information. You can see. So this identifier we have set in session variable this is nothing but your google profile id and photo url or some metadata of your user and if i run it again as user is already already authenticated it does not 
take back to google login again so that's it guys i hope you understand the tutorial and if you like our tutorial please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our, our upcoming tutorial thanks for watching